ask me in the, I would call it a paucity. There was no, no evidence being presented of any strength. Evidence can be hearsay evidence. It's still evidence, but it's still hearsay. But strong judicial quality evidence, anything that would say to me, you have a doubt, deny your oath. I will not do that. And on more than on more than one occasion throughout all this, that has been brought up, and it is a tenet of my faith that the Constitution is divinely inspired of my most basic foundational beliefs. And so for me to do that because somebody just asked me to is foreign to my very being. I, I, I will not do it. Check out all those principles from uh, Rusty Bowers there, uh, the speaker, Republican speaker of the house there in Arizona. Um, the reason it sounds like I'm a little bit sarcastic is because we're gonna find more about Rusty Bowers. But the testimony was on point. The testimony said everything that was happening. These are behind his motivations now. It's why he rejected uh, Rudy Giuliani and Donald Trump's attempts to get him to flip those electors in his state to help them flip this election illegally. This again, don't forget, he's pointing out how illegal this was. And his faith, he said, I'm gonna, I wrote it down, his oath to his office, his faith and his, his belief that um, the Constitution was divinely inspired. These are the basic foundations of his belief systems. Don't forget all that stuff because it sounds so good. And it's actually very true and I'm glad he has those convictions about his belief systems and about his oath to his office. Now, um, he also explains uh, how uh, former President Donald Trump, uh, I'm sorry, how former President Reagan was a part of why he believes these things so fervently. Again, it's his oath, it's his constitution, and now it's President Reagan. Watch more. In your statement, you included excerpts from President Ronald Reagan's inaugural address in 1981. Uh, tell us if you would, Mr. Speaker, why did you include President Reagan's words in your public statement? Um, Mr. Chairman, Representative Schiff, because I have a lot of admiration for Ronald Reagan. When he, um, pointed out, which is allow an election, support an election, and stand behind the election, even in the past when there have been serious questions about the election, and then move on without disturbance and with acceptance that we choose, we choose to follow the outcome of the will of the people. That will, um, it means a lot to me and I know it meant a lot to him. And so I, we included that. Ronald Reagan is the rock that he leaned against to push back against Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. Trump was upset about this. Uh, I wanna give you guys the difference between the two parts of this party and how they're trying to have the DD of Trump and also the DD of Reagan, it's pretty much impossible. So Trump issued this statement ahead of this whole thing before Bowers got to talking and he was uh, already ready to shoot him down. He says, Arizona Speaker of the House, Rusty Bowers is the latest rhino, Republican in name only, to play along with the unselect committee. That's what he said in a statement that he issued through his Save America PAC. So this is the division here. Um, and once they see things like this from Trump, this is the kinds of reactions uh, that Rusty Bowers then received from those same folks in that party. Watch this. I do not want to be a winner by cheating. I will not play with laws I swore allegiance to. It is painful to have friends who have been such a help to me turn on me with such rancor. Um, my secretaries would say, in excess of 20,000 emails and tens of thousands of voicemails and texts, which saturated our offices and we were unable to work, or at least communicate. But at home, up till even recently, uh, it is the new pattern or a pattern in our lives to worry what will happen on Saturdays because we have various groups come by, video, panel trucks with videos of me proclaiming me to be a pedophile and a pervert and a corrupt and politician. Okay, yes, check this out. 
So we've got Rusty Bowers saying he believes his, he believes in the, the Constitution, his oath to his office, his faith, his belief systems, divine uh, inter- intervention into the uh, American experiment. He believes in Ronald Reagan and the, the shiny example on the hill is a great party. He stands behind all those bedrocks of his foundation and beliefs in America. So he turned down Donald Trump and Rudy Giuliani. But he said this, I'm gonna read this. Bauer said the efforts by Giuliani and other Trump backers have been hurtful. He does not levy any criticism on Trump directly and would support him if he were on the ballot. Here's a quote, if he's a nominee, if he was up against Biden, I'd vote for him again. Simply because what he did the first time before COVID was so good for the country. In my view, that was great. What are your thoughts? This is the epitome of what I do not understand about the conservative right wing of this nation, right? They have all these really, really lofty morals that they divine from the church, right? That they take from the Bible, they clutch onto this book that they believe in so ardently, but then they still somehow see Donald Trump as a good person and as a good person for the country. And they would still subject the rest of us to somebody like Donald Trump, even after all the things that he said, the very, very unbiblical things that he said, right? (laughs) He has um, attacked every marginalized group in this nation at some point from the time that he, from before he was even running for office up until now, right? People like Rusty Bowers, he probably was never on the receiving end of that up until right now, whenever he is testifying against Donald Trump in this hearing. But the the thing is, I think somebody mentioned during the hearing, I think it might have been Schumer, uh, he was talking about how fragile democracy is, right? We have certain people in positions and we have to trust them and hope that they will do the right thing when the time comes to it. And luckily, from whatever inspiration, wherever it came from, Rusty Bowers did the right thing this time. But there's still a disconnect between what the right thing is and what's right for the country and what's right for maybe even one's best or own personal interest. He said these things are illegal. I can't do them because they're illegal. But you're gonna vote again for the guy who asked you to do Absolutely. illegal things. Yeah. I don't get the equation. It doesn't add up to me. The sycophant behavior, or what? I would love for him to tell us what Trump did before COVID that has him so amped on him, no matter what he did illegally afterwards. 